Let's add a custom effect to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're going to get a more in this tutorial. We're going to add a custom effect to our Minecraft mod and let's just see. So a custom effect, honestly, all things considered, it is more straightforward than you might think. Of course, it always depends on what the type of effect is. In this particular tutorial, we're going to add the slimy effect, basically allowing you to climb a horizontal surface if you so choose to, when you have that specific effect applied. If you want any other effect, of course, that is on you to figure out how exactly that is going to function. I just want to show you how you can register the effect. And then let's say, for example, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about potions and things like that. But for the time being, in the tutorial mod package, we're going to right click new package called effect. And then inside of there, we need two new Java classes. The first one is the mod effects class. This is for registering the effects. And then in the effect package, again, we're going to have the slimy effect class that is to basically represent the actual effect itself. And we're going to start with the slimy effect. And first and foremost, this is done with the climbing effect from same different right here, uh, basically distributed under the MIT license. So keep that in mind. I basically sort of, well, they help me with the code actually. So that is basically the idea. However, do keep in mind that that is where this all comes from. With this, we, it's, actually really straightforward. So a custom effect is going to extend from the mob effect class, mob effect, not mob effects, very important, mob effect class. So then we can simply hover over this, create constructor matching super. We're going to change, the, we're going to choose the first one and that's going to be what we need. I'm going to change this to a public one right here. And then what we can do is actually, well, overwrite a couple of things. And here we want to overwrite the apply effect tick method as well as, and this is extremely important, should apply effect tick in this tick. That is very important too. Now, the second method over here will simply return a true because, well, we want to apply the effect in this particular tick every time. So we want to apply this every tick. So that is the idea. And in the apply effect tick method, we are going to do just very, very straightforward things. And that is going to be if the entity is actually moving towards a block and is hitting the block in a horizontal direction, we can actually check this by saying if living entity dot horizontal collision, if that is true, then we are going to make it so that you can climb up that particular block, just like a spider, basically. We're going to get the vector three direction. This is going to be the initial vector that the living entity is moving in. This is equal to living entity dot get delta movement. Then we're going to get the climb vector. This is just sort of the vector that we wanted to have after we are done. So this is going to be a new vector three with the initial direction x, we're going to add a positive y value and we're going to take the initial uh, z direction as well. And then we're going to say living entity that set delta movement. And we're going to say that this is now going to be equal to the climb vector. And we're going to scale this down a little bit. This is not strictly necessary, the scaling down over here, but it is kind of okay in that instance because then we're going to be a little bit slower compared to the initial movement. But whatever the case may be, that is literally it for the actual implementation of the effect. Like I said, if you want anything else, you'll need to figure that out on your own. What you can do is, of course, go into the mob effect class, you know, control left click on this. You can take a look at this one. This is actually used for a couple of effects too. And you can also click on this, press control H to see a bunch of other effects right here, like the oozing effect, the poison effect, and things like that. Highly recommended to basically take a look at those as well. And also, Effects from other mods can also be quite interesting. So go to GitHub, take a look at some effects there. Of course, always do note the license that you don't just steal code from others. That is not nice and actually, in theory, is not even uh, really a legal thing to do. But, you know, that is neither here nor there. In the mod effects class, we're now going to register our custom effect. It's going to be happening with a public static final. Can you guess it? Yes, a deferred register of type mob effect. In this case, mob effect, very important. It's going to be under mob underscore effects equal to a deferred register dot create. This is for built in registries dot mob effect and then tutorial mod dot mod ID. As always, all of the code is available down below. So you can basically check it there as well. And then we have a register method right here where mob effects dot register as in the event bus. And there we freaking go. We can immediately call this register method as well. Right here, this is the mob, this is the mod effects actually mod effects dot register there we freaking go and now that we have this we can register our effect this is 
honestly not too bad. What we basically just want to do is we want to have a public static final holder of type mob effect. In this case, I'm going to call this the slimy underscore effect equal to mob underscore effect start register. The name is going to be slimy. And then it's going to be a supplier of a new slimy effect. Very important because, of course, we have a slimy effect. The category here, I'm going to choose neutral in this case. So mob effect category dot neutral. And the color I have already determined. This determines the color of the particles at, that you have when this effect is applied to you. We also want to call the add attribute modifier method. This is going to, well, as you can imagine, modify an attribute that this particular living entity has when this effect is applied to them. And that's going to be the attributes, attributes, attributes dot movement speed. So we're going to modify the movement speed. The name here is going to be resource location from namespace and path tutorial mod dot mod ID. And then this is going to be slimy. So basically that the game knows, okay, the attribute modifier that we've just added is slimy. We want to subtract 0.25 from it and the operation is going to be add multiplied total. So we want to take the total movement speed that this particular living entity has. And we're going to actually negative 0.25, right? So we're going to make it 25% less speed. That's the whole idea. That is what this attribute modifier does, right? So we're going to decrease the, the speed of the, of the person or the living entity that has the slime effect by 25%. That is just, yeah, I think that that's fair, right? If you're slimy, that would happen. And then also additionally with that, you basically also get the ability to climb up sort of horizontal walls. Yeah. However, that is still not everything because we need to go down to the to our assets right here. The first thing is a translation. And this translation, as you can see, is effect.tutorialmod.slimy because of course we need to give it a name. But that is not all. We also need to give it a texture. So in assets, tutorial mod texture, we want to make a new directory I'm going to call this the mob underscore effect. And inside of there, we'll add the slimy PNG. This one is very, very strange. Now, this is, of course, available to you down below for download. However, effects, uh, for some reason, are 18 by 18. I don't know why they didn't go with 16 by 16 pixels for effects as well. Maybe there was a cool effect that they had that was like, you know what? We're just going to go bigger than 16 by 16. But that is a very interesting thing to keep in mind. So basically, your size, in theory, for your mob effect texture has to be 18 by 18. But once you have all of this situated, now we are actually good to go. And what we can do is, well, very easily jump into the game and see if it works. All right, I'm back in Minecraft and let's just see and add ourselves the effect. So effect give dev. And of course, this is going to be tutorial mode slimy. And we're going to do an infinite because why not? And you can see first and foremost, right? I am slower right here, right? So I'm definitely slower. And the slimy effect has been added with the correct texture as well as the correct name. And now if I were to have a horizontal collision, meaning I well walk into a block. Look at this. Look at this. How freaking cool is that? Huh? I don't know. I really I really like this effect. It's it's a really cool effect. I think it is a really interesting thing to add and it basically shows off well how you can add effects to Minecraft. I think that is pretty freaking cool. Awesome. As per usual, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom potions. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.